Nothing ever could be justice for Phoebe. Um, there isn't any closure on that feeling. I don't imagine grief ends because he pays a certain price. We have spent the last 21 days talking about John and John Chuck, the man found guilty for the murder of his five year old daughter, Phoebe. Today, we're not going to talk about him. Instead, 10 News reporter Liz Crawford found a community with a focus on Phoebe. It does matter that he's held accountable and I was relieved. The trial is over. The tragedy remains. You think of a little girl with little curls and somebody who danced and somebody who laughed and played. Phoebe Johnchuk is known to many because of the evil that ended her life. But people like Margot Adams Reed are determined to find some good. What have we learned from this tragedy? One of the harshest lessons is that parents use their children as pawns when they're angry. Adams Reed runs a family center in Pinellas County with a mission to protect children. Out of her passion, she created an annual motorcycle ride to the bridge where Phoebe was killed. She calls it Flowers for Phoebe. We have always tried to make it a positive remembrance of Phoebe. Always tried to focus on the little girl. If people listening, looking at what happened to Phoebe, take the lesson, your children are not pawns. They're not for you to manipulate circumstances with your anger. This year, Flowers for Phoebe Remembrance Ride is Sunday, April 28th, and we have that information in this story. It's posted on WTSP.com.